What is going on guys? Welcome to Survive the Nights again. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to basically get a car and operate a car and all that jazz. Now that you're surviving you can loot, you know what you're doing for the most part. Now you want to you wanna go around the map, you know, to all these different areas and explore and you don't really want to run all the way over there. If you happen to be at Old Town, you definitely don't want to be running all the way over here to Andersville, Point, Sage Creek and all that. So you're going to want to take a vehicle. Now, the best way to get the parts for the vehicles are the gas stations, which you can also find them in all other places. We're going to take that car over there and fix it up for you. We'll show you how to fix it up. So there's two types of vehicles in the game. Currently, it's going to be a car and an RV. Personally, I would take both. The car is going to be faster than the RV, and the RV is quite hard to find. It took me a while. I've only seen two in the game so far. I have the second one. Of my knowledge, the other one's stuck on my server anyways. Uh, but the cars, they're abundant. You'll see them all over the place. If you don't find one in Old Town, you know, you could just walk the roads. Uh, that one happened to spawn there. They do despawn after a while. So don't put things in a car unless you have all of them because they will despawn. They don't actually stay in the game until you cut them on. So this is going to be the car. And I'll show you a little bit of test driving in a little bit. And this is the RV. The RV you can have. You can walk into it. Uh, all the features on here don't really work. Um, you can sit down, drive it. That's about it. All the storage, the stuff doesn't work. So there's no real reason to have one now other than just having it for the update comes out. So you can use it. But it's just a drivable, you know, drivable base basically. And that's what I'm waiting for. Now this is what you're going to need. To get a car running and, and getting good. I did forget one item though. It's going to be a siphon. You can find that in any building um, in Old Town. But like I said, if you want to check the gas station, that's probably your best bet. So you're going to want one jerry can. The reason why is because you need fuel to get these guys running. Most of them do have fuel, but if you have a siphon and a jerry can, you can walk up to a vehicle and take fuel from those vehicles. And then I'll show you one other spot that I just found out the other day. We can get fuel as well, uh, which is at the gas station, and it's not the pumps because you would think it would be the pumps, but it's not the pumps because you need electricity. So, you need one jerry can, one short oil filter, one small engine carburetor, four spark plugs, an alternator, and a fan belt. You need all of these. The only thing that's different from the RV in the car is that you're going to need a long oil filter. I don't think I have one in my my bag but I can't take it off my gun uh, you do use that for suppressors that's how you have suppressors in the game you take oil filters them let me go to the long oil filter that's what that one looks like so now that you have all these I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up I run over to that car over there In the last video, uh, we have a house that's right there. That's the base that I'm taking over currently just to get it, you know, fully renovated and stuff. But the bases that I primarily use is that one and this one. This is where I keep my cars and a bunch of loot. See, is a ton of storage. The only downside is there's not a bathroom. Can't get infinite water. Um, no beds, so you have to use a sleeping bag. But, I mean, all this storage, you can put cars in it. Easy, easy. And it's, and it's very good location because... I have to fix that plank, but these are the only two windows. Door right there. Airlock. Another door. And another door up there. So I have... This place is pretty locked down. It even has a workbench. Really good. Let's move on. I want to run over to this car and we can get it started. Alright, now that we're at the car. Some cars will have stuff into it. And the, the way to check is to walk up and hit interact on the engine. But you can't have four passengers. There's currently no storage for the vehicles yet. I'm waiting for that to come out, and hopefully when that comes out, you, know, you can store things other than in your, in, your, uh, in your inventory. So you want to go up to the hood, hit E, and this one has some gas in it already, and it also has an alternator. This is another way that you can get parts, is if you see cars on the road, they might have a fan belt, some spark plugs, you'll just hit take, and you'll take them out. Fuel, you can't take it unless you have a jerry can, and I believe a siphon, but I don't think I have a siphon on right now so you might not need it currently in this build but you would just take it and it'll go in your jerry can as you had I had 17 now it's 20 so we're gonna add about five in there we're gonna add our engine parts 
then that's that. Now, the worse condition the car is in, the harder it is to get it to start. Sometimes it could take a few tries, sometimes it'll start automatically. But I'm going to show you how to fix that as well. Alright, so the first try, it started. It's smoking because it's pretty damaged. But we're going to take it to the base. We're going to drive it down here. Hit space for the brake. We're going to climb one out. Cut this off. Now we're going to fix this. I need to repair all my vehicles, but we're going to fix this one a little bit because it's at 10% and once it hits zero, it blows up. Goes what you need to do for this is a wrench. You need an adjustable wrench and scrap metal, so I'm going to grab that now. All right, and we're back. I'm going to throw the adjustable wrench from the ground so you know what it looks like. You're going to want to find one of these, and you're going to want to have some scrap metal. You know where to get scrap metal from my videos if you've seen them. You know, cars, piles of junk, all that jazz. And now that we have some scrap metal and our adjustable wrench, we're just going to go into the engine menu, and we're just going to click repair. I think I have about 11 scrap on me, so all of it. And as you repair it, it'll slowly go back to normal. Alright, we finished repairing it. We got it to 75% with all the scrap metal that we had. Looking good, looking brand new. I would always make it to 100% if you can. Um, driving this game is a little bit wonky, and we're going to show that off in a minute as well as go hunting. And what you're going to need when you go hunting, I'm going to go grab real quick. Alright, to get gas efficiently, uh, other than just taking out of vehicles and things like that, you're going to want to come to a gas station. You can't use these because you don't have electricity, but once electricity is up and running, you can. You're going to want to come right here with all your jerry cans and a siphon. You're going to hold E on it, and boom, get uh, fuel. Over time, that fuel will add back up. So right now, if you interact with it again, it says no fuel found. And eventually that will go back up a little bit and you'll have more fuel to use. Alright, so this is what you're going to want when you're going when you're going to go hunting. You're going to want a rifle, some 308 rounds, and a combat knife. You're going to need the combat knife to skin the deer. I don't believe you need it 100%, but if you want more meat, you're definitely going to want to have a combat knife. At least 20 rounds, just in case you have to fight some zombies or whatnot. A rifle... I would put a suppressor on it just so you don't make a lot of noise for zombies. Other than that, you don't really need it because the deer run if they see their, you know, people get shot. So, I'm going to take this and we're going to go driving after I put my cars back into here. Alright, when hunting, you want to go during, the like, you know, dusk to dawn. I believe that's when deer spawn the most. Let's add some fuel. Let's get to driving. ladies and gents we got us some food for the day now usually they're more they're in herds of around like two to three I'm not sure why this one doesn't have any other deer around it I'm gonna go ahead and harvest it usually you get around five pieces of deer meat time I got six so that's good I'm just gonna run around a little bit and see if I can find another deer that way I can I won't have to come out for another 
Uh, All right, so we're back at base, and now we're gonna cook that meat that we uh, got earlier. And now that it's nighttime, it's up to you if you'd like to go out, kill some stuff, or just sit and wait until the morning. I hope this video is uh, helpful for you guys, and hope the other videos are helpful as well. Uh, please let me know down in the comments below if this has helped you as a new player or as an old player. And uh, yeah, hope you continue watching.